by the right of the council, by the will of the force. Welcome back into another very, very, very special episode of the Galaxy Famous, Halcyon Approved Jedi Talk Podcast. Now, before I introduce, I say guests, but it's really a collaboration of galaxies together here tonight. Um, I am Tom O'Gree. Follow us at Jedi Talk Podcast on Instagram, youtube.com slash Jedi Talk. To my right, the man We're that both just... to your right. Huh? It's true. Now, now he turned, so now it's you. To my right, <laughs> he, 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 Florida man is in my, is in my uh, bat cave tonight. Brad Hughes. Brad, how the hell are you today? I have never worn white pants this tight, but I am here for it. Let's go. That's what she said. All right, directly across <laughs> from me is... The man, the myth, the legend, um, he's, he's, he's still got to go pick up something from Batu later. He, he hid something so he can go in overnight. <laughs> if um, I can build up the courage. Evan, <laughs> Evan T. Boucher. Evan, how the hell are you tonight? Uh, Diga and good journey. I mentioned it earlier, Brad. You haven't got to hear it, but I have retired hello there to bring up the halcyon greeting of a Diga. You've retired hello there? Yes. So when I get introduced you can to the say so I can start saying it now? Yes, you all yes. can say hello there. My life is complete. There General Kenobi. But now we do this collaboration of Connection of Galaxies. I turn directly to my left. They're, they can't see it, but they're in front of my Metallica's Kill em All po- uh, poster flag, I'll say. Um, heroes of the Halcyon <laughs> podcast. Guys, how the hell are you? Welcome. i look so happy to be collaborating with you guys. Been been checking you out forever. How the hell are you tonight? Tabuite. Tabuite, yes. indeed. Hello. So, it, introduce yourself to, to if, if the listeners of Jedi Talk may not know who, who you guys are, and, and we have spoken about you before, just introduce yourself like it's the first time they're hearing you. Who are we talking sure, to? Sure, I'm, I'm Superfan Drew. <laughs> and I'm Superfan Christine. Superfan Martin. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, uh, how did Heroes of the Halcyon start? And 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 I, I I have a wild guess, but can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> it all started long ago. No, <laughs> the year was 1999. Exactly. We all were leaving the Phantom Menace. Some of us were hanging our heads in shame. Some of us were regretting buying that ticket, but not me. I was excited about pod racing. We loved it. I was on my way to Walmart to go get the pod racing toy. That's a true story. <laughs> yeah, we, we found out that uh, I I did a what. Four, four night stint in front of the theater uh, for Phantom Menace. Holy crap. And we found out years and years later that Drew was in the same lineup, like what, four people behind me? I was about four what? people behind me. Wow. Yeah, That's telling some, you yeah. that Martin's actually set up a tent out in front of the theater, got permission to bring power, had a giant screen TV set up, <laughs> a couple of Star Wars movies, got everything set up. And when I showed up in line with my sleeping bag and my pillow, I was like, who is this D bag? <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, twenty five years later or whatever it is, we're we're doing a podcast together. It, it, it's funny. We, I pulled out the pictures. And I'm like, hey, Drew. Yeah, I was actually after the episode. He's like, I was right there, and it's wild. But uh, That's Star Wars wild. brings it together. It does, man. It does bring yeah. everyone together. I love it. That's one of the reasons why I love it so much. That's a lot like how Brad and I met. So it was Galaxy's Edge related for us. So yeah, we get it. So were you were you doing the Heroes of the Halcyon podcast or? or Rather, let me take that back. Were you doing a Star Wars podcast before Heroes of the Halcyon together? We were not, actually. We, we've just been friends for a number of years. Uh, Martin was actually my realtor. And uh, <laughs> when we bought for Jaws because uh, we have a mutual love of Jaws. And I remember very much after he handed the keys to me, I, I turned to Martin. I said, can we be friends now? And he's like, I was hoping I'd say that. <laughs> and so, when when the when the opportunity to go on the Galactic Star Cruiser came up, uh, I actually was resisting it because, frankly, the cost. I mean, that's obviously something that comes up when you talk about the Galactic Star Cruiser. And Martin Christine, well, Martin especially was very, very, very good at convincing me. And uh, after that first voyage, we came back and I said, you know, this would be fun to talk about. And as a therapy session, we should do a podcast. I, I think we were on voyage number six. So we, we got on really early on in the in the rotation and my gosh our first episode came out less than less than a month and a half two months after the experience even opened so it was memorial wow. day week yeah. was the weekend yeah. of um Star Wars uh, celebration. celebration in anaheim yeah. so we just had our one-year anniversary oh happy anniversary That's awesome. were you guys at celebration anaheim we were i was there too i was the did you guys happen to go to the galaxy's edge panel 
we did not. We were not cool enough to get in any of the panels. Mine, we, we, we mine wasn't a super hard one to get into. It was the first one of the weekend, <laughs> so it was very easy to get into. We uh, the reason I asked that is because uh, I did at the very end. I did a tag on about the Halcyon, um, oh. and that was that was very well received. That was like the. Uh, um, like the the most questions I had because people have been to Batu, right? Uh, people have seen it and they they know what to expect. But the Halcyon was still new. I mean, it had been open two months by that point. Yep. Um, and I I two, just kept months. getting a ton of questions about like the experience and like what what it, what all it was like. And it's like I found myself not being able to answer <laughs> the questions because they're like, "What is it?" I'm like, "Well, it's kind of this like." I, um, how long do you have to talk? Right. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a hotel, but it isn't. It's a it's a theme park, but it's not. It's a it's LARPing, but it's not. It's role play, but it isn't. And there's a lightsaber, right? And food, and it was lots of food. I still struggle to define to define what the Halcyon is, and it's it's yeah. To me, that shows how cool it is. Um, and yeah. we've talked we've talked about this a lot, and I think that's one of the reasons why they had trouble marketing it. Was because it's well, like, it, how do you contextualize what that is in a thirty-second spot on TV? You can't, you can't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how, how do you sell what's never been sold? Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, exactly. Uh, but it's funny, Brad. You mentioned the celebration, and I, I keep asking myself, and I'm really trying to track down. Do you remember that Disney had a huge Galactic Star Cruiser booth? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Built out in Halcyon style. Yep. I mean, this this was a you know a typical uh, like I'd say three wide you know huge area on, oh, the, was, on the floor. It was one of the, it was I'm it was the biggest booth of the panel, I believe. It was huge. Yes, and I'm wondering what happened to that because I want that for my living room, right. <laughs> real, real I, bad. I can find out what they did with it because the guy that was working the booth, Rayvon, uh, the ambassador, right now, I worked with him on the guest experience team at Magic Kingdom. So I'll hit him up and see if he knows what happened to it. It may have gone to cast connection and be long gone. They may have destroyed it to not have to haul it back to Florida. Who knows? I'll and, find and, out. And just to let you guys know, Brad's a former cast member, yes, Disney, former, wherever former. you're at right now. Former. <laughs> former. Former. Yeah, let's not get uh, into that we fight got, again. We, we, we got in a little... I don't know. Do you guys know about our, our Sammy file, our interview with Sage Starkey that yeah. that's, yes. can't be released? Yes, sir. They hit us last week, too. <laughs> yeah, they came, after after, <laughs> after, yeah, after yeah, Adam's yeah. drop, they were they were sniffing around, but but we, we had to clarify but that Adam it's former. Adam is allowed. He yeah, is allowed. Adam's so. allowed, so... Yes. But that's yeah. exactly how I found your podcast, was I had just got off the housey, and I emailed it to you even when you sent me that awesome card back of me and my girlfriend. But I did the. Oh, eight. this was them. Yeah, this, oh, yeah they that, made oh, that's, awesome. that's spectacular, yeah. guys. Yeah. I didn't know that. That is spectacular. So, yeah, and and we always have to say it's not them, it's Martin. Okay, okay, Martin. okay. that's fair. <laughs> oh, then forget oh, yeah. you two, Martin. That was awesome. <laughs> right, yeah. but I yeah. was on the eighth one, and I was like looking for a way to just like have some therapy and like keep talking about it because I couldn't just talk to people like, oh, have you done this? It's like no one's done it. Like it's not like, oh yeah, I went to Magic Kingdom yesterday. You can talk to everyone in Florida about that. Yeah. But I just yeah. had no one to talk to about the Halcyon because not even these two guys had done it yet. So I was looking and looking, and I found your podcast, and I was like, "Thank God, this is what I need." <laughs> I was like, "Shoot that into my veins." I so. remember you telling me about that when you first found them, and I was like, "That's that's cool. Like yeah, that's that's a cool that that's I like a thing that I couldn't talk to you exists. about it because I didn't want to spoil anything." And yeah, so I found the only community there was, that, which is now spiraled in a good way out of control to the community we have now. And so did you guys all go on together, or did you guys go at separate times? The three of us went together. That's fantastic. Both times, right? Or all three times? All, all three, three times. times. Oh, yeah. wow. You've done three. I forgot they've done three. Yeah. Are you doing a last one? Yes, we are. <gasps> I'm so jealous. Which voyage do you mind sharing, if you haven't already? Second second to last. The oh, 26. oh, that's beautiful. Dang. Man. That's beautiful. Wow. The FOMO is already oh, setting in hard. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. We've we've only been on two. It's 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 looking that's all we're going to be able to get on, but... but um. I know. I know. Evan is like standing in front of. Since we're just right down the street from the Star Cruiser, like Evan's yeah. standing in front waiting. I've I've tried constructing a ramp over the fence that hasn't worked out yet. So I just I just picture you driving by and like shaking your hand at God, being like, "How dare you? Why dare? How could you? <laughs> why, you why God? Why?" <laughs> uh, 
Hey, if we want to have like some infiltration expedition <laughs> a couple months after it closes, count me in. You know there's oh, going to be down. so many YouTube people trying to do that. Like, Adam what's the, it called? Adam the Woo is going to get banned again. Again. All, all the, <laughs> urban, the urban explorers urban or whatever explorers. it's called. Like, Disney yeah. can't afford the security to keep me <laughs> off of that property. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it up. I, I, I'm actually, it's funny you say that. I remember I, uh, I, I like to bike. I have a mountain bike and I, I was biking a lot during the pandemic and I would drive by the building at one time I drove through the back parking lot because it started raining really bad I was just trying to get home quicker <laughs> and security pulled me over by um, what is the, uh, the 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 French Quarter uh, French Quarter French yeah, Quarter like Port Orleans Port Orleans yeah. thank you oh yeah the uh, next street over and yeah. they were like what are you doing why were you behind the house I was like I was just getting out of the I'm, it's I'm raining let, let me go so th- they're not joking around with security by the house yeah. now. they don't play yeah well Clearly, we're well, Evan, you mentioned. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. So, Evan, you mentioned the the therapy, the need to talk with other people after you got off the voyage. That's that is precisely why we started the podcast, and that yeah. that has been, you know, our saving grace over the last year has been going and talking to people about various aspects of the Star Cruiser voyage. I mean, as you mentioned, it's not something you can easily talk about with folks, but. When, when you really dig in and find a way to talk about every aspect of the Halcyon, oh, it, yeah. it, it does it does service therapy for us. Yeah, and I know I've, I'm fully caught up on you guys now. I caught up this week, and I know you've kind of, like, partially joked and, like, kind of pointed out that, like, I don't know if we can continue this now that it's going to close eventually. But I'm like, I think you can definitely continue the show. The community and the love is out there, and we're, we can just turn it into something else. We can turn it into some form of, like, they have lightsaber meetups on Batu, but... I don't think I've seen anyone put this out there. And if they have, then it's a great idea. But Pen- if not, pending. I'm hoping this is an idea I can at least try to help form in some way. But, but like, you have to go to Batu for that. A Star Cruiser meetup. <laughs> well, I'll go for this. Like a Star Cruiser meetup where like, oh, that's a great idea. we might even be our, be characters in our own right and be like, hey, you need to go deliver this to to Sakul over here or Maleficent needs that's to meet you up awesome. over at Docking Bay 7 and... And I don't you know, know if I'm I, smart enough to set this up and coordinate it, but I want to put that out there in the Star Cruiser community that I would like to have just like Star Cruiser meetup days where we all have missions on Batu mm-hmm. where we're all in character, and I think that would be a ton of fun. That is Evan, awesome. Evan, that is absolutely gold. You know, frankly, someone in, in the community, you know, TC, mm-hmm. has actually reverse yeah. engineered yeah. the data pad, and it, oh, it's sensational. Yeah, Shoot. he's actually recreated uh, in his in, like all the different responses you can make to the characters. He's filled in so you can kind of see what would happen if you did this, what would happen if you said that. You know, every um, once in a while you realize how dumb you are, and, and this was the me. moment yeah. I just had. <laughs> God, I'm dumb. But, but, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, I think incredible. I think that's the most program a new mission. Yeah, like the most I could do was like maybe set up a Facebook page. But I, I want this to become like something that someone takes and runs with that even can like, make it a even reality. after Evan tried to set up the Jedi Talk Facebook page, he somehow got banned for five days. Yeah, so we're, I, we're, yeah, we're just, I banned myself yeah. somehow. I don't know. But there it could there's endless possibilities where you could just have deliver this or smuggle this or go meet them by Ogas and whatever. Like you can just go forever and write your own stories and write your own characters and kind of help the Halcyon live on in that that sense. Yeah, a, a lot of people have talked about, you know, you know, there's Star Wars Day, there's um, Life Day, there's any of that kind of stuff. There's droid meetups already. There's yeah. lightsaber meetups, like you said. I mean, there's a ton of events that are already happening yeah. that I think it would be, I don't want to say easy, but fairly easy to do both on East and West Coast oh, yeah. at Batu to be able to set up these kind of events just to... Like you said, just keep the community going. Yeah, right. And if you can have all these side quests and missions going, and I'm sure a lot of people would participate. But it also might be cool just to see the person that you shared a cabin with a year ago. You know, like that would be worth it right there. Exactly. W- w- one thing that I'm really focused on, because now that there's kind of an end date in sight, is what I don't want the Star Cruiser community to do is is stagnate with just the people that are there today. I really want to invite people that, have, you know, two years from now, yeah. Three years from now, four years from now, that that weren't able to experience it, I still want to be welcoming and, and give them some kind of entry and just a feel for what this was like because I, oh, yeah. I think this is an experience that is going to be talked about in very hushed, revered tones. I mean, this is this is going to have real legs, I think. 
Oh yeah, just like Adventurers Club. I mean, yeah, we missed absolutely. It. We, we go. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never got to experience Adventurers Club, but I know I would have. A, I would have loved it, but I also know B, this is like the next evolution of it. And if, we if you had it. if you took anything from our chat with Adam last week, is when he said he's like, this doesn't have to end. It's like you could do this at home. Yeah, you know, you yep. can you you can do it. I mean, Evan just like talking and doing it on Bot Two, like yeah. meet. Go and meet Lias Orion by Docking Bay 7 and yeah. take down the resistance because Leia Organa pissed you off or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, I, I'd like to announce to my wife, Christine, here that I am quitting my job tomorrow and I'm going to work on this full time. <laughs> hey, there you go. I like this. I like it. Yep, there I we go. It. I knew it. You heard it here. <laughs> right then and there. Um, man, what do you guys... Start a GoFundMe or something. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, is there anything that you are, have to do on your fourth voyage that you maybe haven't done yet? I'm I'm really curious. You know, I, you, you guys are the first time I've talked to anybody going on more than two, so I'm I'm really curious. There is for me. I, I really want to get. I it, it's funny. You you keep. I I love the Captain Keevan character. Oh my god! And I want to spend time with the Captain Keevan character. And three voyages in, and my total combined time with Captain Keevan just happens to be like ten minutes. Wow. Yeah. It, no, that's the same the, as it, me. The ships that, ships that pass in the night. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah. And I'm really bound and determined to to see more of the Captain Keevan and Lenka Mock and Sammy mm-hmm. uh, lines. I, one of the things we always tell people is to kind of go with the flow, go where the you know, universe takes you. But the last time I went on on the Halcyon, I went very specifically down the First Order path because I really wanted to see what was this path like that I had zero interaction with my first two times, and it was actually really fun to do a deep dive into one particular branch of this, um, which, again, that that's not something I would ever recommend someone do the first time or even their second time. Um, but I want to see Captain Keith. What, what do you guys want to see? Well, I'm excited. This, this next voyage, uh, the first two voyages, I brought my son. Uh, he was 14 at the time. He's 15 now. He would be very upset if I didn't bring that up. Um, and he enjoyed it. It was great. <laughs> we had son bonding time. Uh, the third voyage just went with Martin Christine, which was great, just with you guys. Just with us. Uh, but this next voyage, uh, one thing that's kind of amusing is uh, I came home and my wife saw pictures of the meetup that we had and, you know, that there was actually people. I think that was the first time she went, oh, I think people actually listen to that thing that he does every week. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said, well, you know, the ne- if they announce that they're closing it, I'll, I'll go on a voyage with you. And two weeks later, I came in. I said, "Hey, honey." Um, <laughs> oh my God! The, good news, bad yeah. news, right? The good news is yeah. we're going. <laughs> You're going so on the Halcyon, the- yay! <laughs> <laughs> so this next voyage, uh, my wife will be coming with, and I'm just excited to share as much of it as I can with her. Um, and just she's she's very much the person who's going to be standing back and observing, but which is just fine. Obviously, you can easily do that on this voyage, and so uh, that's what I'm looking forward to is kind of showing her. The, the the ship and and the voyage and the experience. Beautiful. I'm so yeah. good to get to share this really huge important piece of of your life. I yeah. love that. I love that so much. No. Christine, what do you look? Is your to? wife? I'm sorry. Is your is your wife a big Star Wars fan? Oh no, 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 no. no, no, no. Now I don't and, know. Uh, you say that she's going to stand back and watch, but she might just jump in. You never know. Well, I I did tell her that there are certain friends of certain characters on the ship that uh, I showed pictures, and she's like, oh, yeah, I'd follow that guy anywhere he wants. I know who you're talking about. He's a piece. (laughs) There we go. It's the Saja. He's gorgeous. (laughs) Saja Clark Kent. (laughs) Clark Kent. My well, fiance said the same thing. She was like, I guess I kind of could go on the house. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks. I mean, it's not awful. Um, I... I don't know. I really don't right now because we've we've done a really good job, or at least I feel like I've done a really good job of, you know, spending time with Wraith and with uh, with Gaia, and you know, spent a little bit of time with Asaja this last time, uh, a little bit of First Order, a little bit of Sammy, and like so. I've kind of had little bits and pieces of everything. So this time I might really just do what my heart wants to do. You know, just see where it takes me because at this point it's you know. I just kind of want to give myself to the ship and see what happens. Yeah. I love I that take. Right I love it. Yeah. yeah, I can totally relate to because I don't mean this in a bad or offensive way, but I'm he the does. crier of our, of us of uh, the us group. Man, I'm also the dumb one. I'm the <laughs> crier, and yeah, I know from listening that you are as well, Christine. So that that's 100 percent me. If I can somehow sneak in a, a final voyage in, that'll be me. Because the first time I did strictly first order, 
This next time, I did a lot of Saja, a lot of Wraith. I would like to try, if I do go back, to get some Keevan, some Linka Mock, some Sammy. But, like, if not, I'll just go wherever the tears take me. So, <laughs> I totally yeah. get that. Captain Keevan is the really person to spend time with if you want knowledge. Yeah. Man, does she know yeah. stuff. Holy crap, I love talking to her. Yeah. Well, and I think, too, that's that's the other thing is I need. I've got a very short window to figure out. How do you paint your face green and not cry it off? Like, <laughs> while you're standing in line outside the Halcyon before you even get on. Oh, geez. Like, yeah. help. Oh, it's, and it's lots yeah. of help. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good point. I'd say it's a stylistic choice this time because it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you said it yourself. You learn that Twi'lex, uh, their skin color changes when they cry. You know, you learned. I mean, so. I am trying emotional. to canonize that. I think it's important for everybody to know. Don't judge. Oh, no. And that's, the best, that's the best thing about this community is no one judges. We're all... No, yeah, it's, it's I, the same. I mean, especially with you guys being on the second to last voyage. I mean, everyone yeah. is going to be there loving it. I wish there was this amount of rallying behind it the entire time. Uh, yes. You know, because every I, I, I was hoping it would look like this for the next two years when you can't get a booking. But yeah, uh, I'm disappointed that it's closing. But you know, we've said it at nauseum on our show. But it's uh, it's it's a shame. But it's uh, I'm glad you guys get to go on do it one more time. I wish and I hope I'm going to put it out there to the universe that we get to go back on again and hopefully something comes through for us. Hopefully, we get a cancellation. But mm-hmm. um, I I am prepared mentally to not go back on but that is such a hard thing to even say <laughs> yeah <laughs> because i thought i thought we had plenty of time with this thing like i i'm truly gonna miss it i really am yeah and i think well, it, go ahead it's really interesting to think about because uh like we've all been talking about it's so hard to describe what this is but your experience and what you're talking about is what we hear over and over again people who've gone it I, you know, we've said it changes you. And, you know, if you really invest yourself in it, it absolutely does. And once you get a taste of that sugar, you want to keep going, right? <laughs> yeah. Chase that dragon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Chase that bubble. It, Galactic Star <laughs> Cruiser, it's not, it's not just a building. It's not just an experience. It really, the, the part that I like best about it is you get to create your own little corner of Star Wars and play on the stage. And that's going to be something that, you know, sure, we'll still have Galaxy's Edge, which yeah. is fantastic. We adore Galaxy's Edge, but it's not the same thing. We really are yeah. losing this stage to, to kind of create our own thing and perform with the characters. Not only is um, it not the same thing, the Halcyon makes you look at Batu differently. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Yep. I was talking with Tom about it earlier tonight before Brad got here that, like, it's like mo- losing 70% of a movie. Like, the whole movie of Batu slash Galactic Star Cruiser is now just Batu. So there's thirty percent of that movie you can still go watch, but you can't watch past that point anymore. You have to turn the movie off. Did, you don't know how it ends. Did, like does our hoist and like our heist and voyage does it that that doesn't get removed from canon with it going no. away, does it? No, yeah. hell no. No. Nope. Nope. Not in my heart I, at least. I mean not 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 in my heads, but I just want to make sure everybody else understands that. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's never been it's like all you Karen's and and Kevin's out there who 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 wanted this to to fail really bad. So yeah. out there with I, I don't keyboard think warriors, that we're going to see these characters in yeah. canon any time. Again, they are canon. You know, right. Captain Keevan, Ray, oh, yeah. Lang, mm-hmm. all, but I I don't expect them to pop up in anything anytime soon. I think because again, if everyone loves them, they're going to go, "Why'd you close this thing?" If everyone hates them, they're going to point them at them and say, "This is why it fails." So to me, it's it's a no win for Disney once they close this. To walk Captain Keevan on screen, as much as I would, I would cut off my hand to see that. <laughs> right, we don't. I, think. I don't. I, I don't think it's going to happen because once Disney shutters this thing, I think again, it is they're not going to retro, you know, fit it out of canon. But I don't think they're going to expand on it. No. Well, well, one thing that's interesting. I mean, the Adventurers Club. You know, although the the nightclub shut down. The, the concept of the Explorers Club, and I, I apologize for folks out who are listening yep, who yep. were screaming at their radios. Their radios? How old are you, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> their iPhones. But, AM 14410. That's the radio station. Right. AM 410. But, but, you know, there's they still have that that Explorer Society mm-hmm. um, behind a lot of the mythology at 
Mythic Manor, mm. at Jungle Cruise. Yeah. So maybe there's a way that they can pull it in. It oh, does, I'd love it. Yeah, the there's SEA keeps expanding. Part. Every freaking new month, there's something new SEA. Like yeah. Skipper Canteen is part of the SEA at Magic Kingdom. Like They just keep building and building on that lore. So it is possible. You never know. I wouldn't be surprised, but like like you said, a movie. I definitely don't see like her showing up in a TV show, a TV show or movie or anything. But oh, I die if she ended up in Filoni's like movie. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm oh putting my, my I'm placing my bet now. She's going to show up in the movie that takes place with Ray after nine, and Ray needs a vacation. That's the whole plot of the movie, and she goes on the Star Cruiser. <laughs> Wasn't that a Lego vacation one? Yeah, that already- it was kept in- vacation. Vacation. I also forgot about that. Vacation. So will they delete that from Disney Plus? I hope not, because I love that one. <laughs> I don't know. If they delete that from Disney Plus, it's like half their content. Right Dude, there. I'll be I'll be super <laughs> mad, but I love that because that's two things I love: Lego and Star Cruiser. So yeah, I have a question for I just you guys. To- oh. Sorry, go ahead. It can wait. You go ahead, please. Yeah. I was just going to say, I just wanted so desperately during Andor, when she's living on Chandrilla. Mon Mothma, yeah. Yes. Talk about the house name. Just mention it. Just mention it in passing that, you know, like, oh, so-and-so just got off the house and blah. Our minds would have exploded. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> that would have made it ourselves. the best show ever. The, they didn't even need to say. Didn't even need to say the words Halcyon. Just the last shot you see of Mon Mothma and Andor when she's going to you know Chandrilla. Have her just be on the shuttle, and as she's talking, the shuttle doors open, and she walks onto the atrium. You don't even have to announce it; everyone oh, will know. Oh, that just happened! Or yeah, it doesn't, um, it doesn't even have to be the specific ship, the Halcyon, because the Chandrilla right. Starline is the entire fleet of ships. So just mention the Chandrilla Starline is costing us millions of credits, and because she was all about trying to siphon credits and stuff, so you could have even mentioned it that way. Like, there's a ton of ways they could have. Didn't think about. I, I do think there's a chance that we'd see something like that in the future. Yeah. I, I think that yeah. that's actually fairly fairly likely. I think we're going to get a CSL mention. Yeah. Well, given the the way that the you know the they like to have uh, taxation and financial stuff, maybe they'll talk about a Felucian shrimp blockade that happened. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Uh, I had a question for you guys. Have you talked to anyone who went on it and like gave it their all? And we're like trying really, really hard to get into it, and just couldn't get into it, because I have yet to find that person. Never. The closest thing we have is we on our second voyage. We uh, we were in the sublight lounge, and we had a couple came up, and uh, the woman had bought the 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 voyage as a gift for her husband, and didn't tell him anything about it, and didn't want to spoil anything, and didn't know enough about it. She just knew he really liked Star Wars, and this was a Star Wars thing, and somehow they went the entire voyage without. Uh, kind of hearing about the experience and kind of understanding the specifics Jesus. about oh, the interactivity and the immersion. They, they they were just kind of hanging out in the sublight lounge. They'd see the actors walk by. They thought they weren't supposed to be talked to. So w- we have seen that. But as far as people who go in and, and try to express a little bit of interest in getting into the story, it's been universal praise and, and uh, admiration for the experience. Yeah, one hundred percent. I've not seen or heard anybody that gets off and says that was the worst thing. I hate that I spent money. No one. I've never no, seen I haven't that. even seen anybody go like it was all right. Like no, I, yeah. I've only seen like, oh my god, I cannot wait to go back. Yeah, that's the only thing I've I've seen from people who have gone. Now the people who haven't gone that like to complain about everything. That's a different conversation. Yeah. But uh, it's just shocking to me, man. I just I, I I know we've said it a thousand times, but like I'm just sad. What What were y'all's thoughts when you heard that it was closing? Oof. Yeah. Oof. Oof. I, I was just worried. We got to keep this community together. Yeah. And truly, that was my very first. I mean, we, we the, you, you feel for the cast and crew who are losing jobs first, but my my first selfish thought was we have to keep this community together. That it, it means too much to us. Well, my next thought was, well, I guess my wife gets to go on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> there you go. Um, yep. But what, one thing that I'm really glad about the way it went down, again, people will always say Disney handled it wrong, whatever. But what one thing that I'm really, really glad about is that the news was officially confirmed really quickly. Yeah, I agree. There was, there was yeah. no period of, That's is true. this true? Is this true? I mean, it went from, is this happening to, yep, this is real, within five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Um, when when but, we found uh, out, Tom called the line, and I was like, I was like, come on, there's no way. And he's like, "Now, nah, dude, I called, yep. and it's confirmed. It's on the like the when you call the, the recording. Star it's on the recording." Yeah, like, oh like, wow, this is geez. real. Yeah. Now I was at work, and I just had to step back. So, I, and I I lost it at work. I just started bawling. So, that was my immediate reaction too. You cried? No uh, way. Never. 
<laughs> honestly, it was it was a really heartbreaking day for us. I mean, thank goodness Christine was working at home. Uh, mm. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I couldn't imagine being at the office. I I got a text message from a friend that was just an article talking about it closing, and I'm texting her back saying, "Okay, well, who wrote this? Because mm-hmm. who is this guy? You who know, the hell is Blog Mickey?" Right. Exactly. No, 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 I'm the, kidding, see, I'm Mike. I love. They were I love one of Mike. the first ones I saw, and I'm like, okay, he's never wrong, but yeah. I'm like, he's finally got one wrong. Okay. Uh, but, I, but no. I saw Scott Gustin's tweet. Yeah, he never gets it wrong yeah. either. Man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, then Instagram started blowing up. Text messages started blowing up. I mean, it was like, wow, this yeah. is. Yes, yeah, I got like 30 text messages from people like, dude, is this real? I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. it's real. Like I. Before the house scene opened, I was known as like the Disney guy. So any Disney news that was like somewhat big, my friends would be like, "Oh, did you hear about this? What do you think?" But after the house scene opened and I went, I became the Star Cruiser guy to all my friends and family. So they all a ton of texts and messages and stuff. Were just like, "Are you okay? What's going on? Like, if you need me, like, and at work too, coworkers." And I, I I'm known as the Star Cruiser guy. So they just immediately reached out to make I, sure I was okay. I thought you were known as the crying Star Cruiser guy. Yes, yes. Okay. To be more specific. Okay. Yes. The Star Crier. <laughs> to be, to be. Galactic <laughs> Star Crier. Yes. Galactic Star Crier. Yeah. That's pretty great. Man. I've watched that movie. <laughs> it's just him on the bridge. I've lived it. <laughs> I've lived it. So. <laughs> I guess we can go into hyperspace. I guess. <laughs> well, um, we're, we're so, so fortunate that just mere weeks before the event, they had that really big uh, voyage during May the fourth. You know, May the fourth be with you. It's a yeah. really big yeah. deal. I was going to ask you about that because I I just happened to run into you on Batu during your excursion, and that was like the greatest luck ever. Because I was like, I don't know if oh. I want to go to Batu today. I'll go tomorrow. And I was like, No, I should go today. And I went, and then bam, you guys are right there. Oh, that was, and right before the voyage, we actually threw a, a, a party called the Star Cruiser Superfans Muster Meetup, where we rented out Stargazers Bar at Planet Hollywood and Disney Springs and completely sold out the event. Just nothing but Star Cruiser super fans, most of them that were going on that that voyage, mm-hmm. just getting together and telling stories, having the best time. We actually did had a an auction, a charity auction for Make a Wish. That how much money did we raise for Make a Wish? About fifty five hundred bucks. 50, yeah. 50, Damn, dude, that's bucks. awesome. That's incredible. That's and almost then, a yeah. voyage. <laughs> to jump a, to jump ahead, the <laughs> the, the uh, forever Halcyon shirts you've sold have also been making a ton yeah. of money for Make a Wish. So. I, oh, I just yeah, wore. That was our friend. I have Will, I, I have mine. Yeah, I just wore mine yeah. to, to Batu yesterday, and I saw somebody else with it walking into Batu. I, I saw was, him. When I went. It was the uh, the tall black dude. Was it no? Guy? I saw somebody else. So there was another three person of them. there then. That, three of them. Because I I recognized it too. Because I I actually ran into him yesterday on Batu. Yeah. Had no yeah, idea he was there. Yeah. And he had his shirt on. And, I, and then I just when I realized he had on, I started looking for it. And yeah. I saw a dude when we were walking out with one on. Uh, it's insane. It's, it's, That's it's, amazing. It's, we speaking uh, on Batu and right before Muppets area over there at the at the gelato station they have. Pog juice gelato and it's yes. delicious. I yes. just want to let everybody know. It's a good listening. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's yeah. Yes. yes. Get it. So anyway. I, I didn't want to jump yeah. ahead past your awesome meetup, but I, I was working that night, so I couldn't even I didn't even try to buy a ticket. So I'm like, if I get one and can't go, I don't want to take a ticket away. So I couldn't make it. But I saw and heard about how awesome it was. So that looked incredible. And, and what what other Disney, you know, uh, attraction can you do that? I mean, we we love Big Thunder Mountain. We love Big Thunder Mountain. But I, I don't think there's going to be an event where you know Big Thunder Mountain meetup it happens, you know, and all these people show up <laughs> That's in, in the same way. Um, and again, we, we love Big Thunder. Um, Star Cruiser really is something unique. It, there, there's nothing, there's nothing like it. And and the fans that love it, boy, do they love it. Yeah. Um, to go back to the shirts, if you uh, if you hit up Instagram, the the creator is he creative. And not only does he have the forever shirts, which are beautiful, but he's got a ton of art, a ton of new shirts, mm-hmm. um, everything for Star. He he is absolutely in love with the Star Cruiser. Is that and Phil? And he's put into a ton of work. Yes, Phil. exactly. I, um, we just spent a hundred bucks at his show. He had his store on new art yesterday. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm um I was thinking about a Halcyon tattoo, and I noticed that all the crew has a Shangela Starline. Oh. oh, oh. oh. Let's see it. Oh my gosh! Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That's 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 beautiful. Hell yeah! I was actually get um. Oh, I I, I can't see that. Let me see that one again. Let me see that. Your forearm. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Uh, yeah, I love him. That, that's actually her character. Oh shoot! Stone. 
Maybe that's what you can do. Something with your character. Maybe. But I, what I wanted to do, and I reached out to Phil. Does his name on your butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, I reached out to Phil to get that logo that he created for Make a Wish tattooed on me. I'm going to get the forever. Oh, so, oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't and know that. He that's approved, the first yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. I didn't want to tell you because it's his story to tell. Yeah. Yeah, he told me that he awesome. gave me the thumbs up to do it. So whenever whenever I get that chance, I'm going to go yeah, down dude. to Harn and Huntington off City Walk and get that tattooed. Yeah, dude. So. I love that's that. That's awesome. Now, I have, I have a ton of the YouTube videos from your May the 4th cruise, from Dano and from like all those other creators there in my watch later on YouTube because I was about to watch them when the news dropped and I've just kind of oh boy needed a second to not watch stuff about it to, to help cheer me up. So I'm, I think I'm finally back to the point where I can watch stuff. So I'm about to go dive in hard on how awesome that cruise is. I did see a few <laughs> things like I've seen the one way out run. That was pretty incredible. <laughs> Have you seen that Tom? No, but oh, oh, well, I saw everybody I saw dressed it on, up as I saw it, but, it on May the yeah. 4th. Yeah. So um, it's incredible. by the way, if you, if you guys are listening to this and this is a shameless plug for ourselves, if you want to get like a, a a different way to look at the Halcyon closing, I urge you to go listen to our episode we did with Adam, uh, who is Lieutenant Croy on uh, our first voyage. Former, former performer. I'm sorry, yeah. former. former yes. Sorry, Disney. Former, right. former performer. Yes. Sorry, Mickey. Uh, uh-huh. Huh? You're screwed. <laughs> um, hey there, we're gonna take you to court. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, to go get like a cathartic look at it it really kind of helps yeah. uh, put everything into a, a different light yeah so go check that out if, if you're like like i know you said after that it really helped you kind of face yep. the closing that's why i came at like came to peace with it i guess it's like oh well, i'm gonna try to get it back on but if i don't i'll be okay and like that's when i'm like now i can watch the youtube videos again and i feel much better about it so that helped a lot it helped me a lot for sure. And I'm sure it's helped a ton of other people. And that was the whole point. We wanted to talk to somebody from a different perspective. And we got from a, a great certain perspective. point of view. Yes, from a certain point of view. And it helped all of us, but I'm sure it helped people that listen to it. And that's what I love about it is that was the point. We wanted to help everybody in the community move forward. Uh, I would encourage people to, you know, don't completely ignore the, the chance of cancellations. Yeah. I, I really do believe that a lot of people made panic cancellations without any yep. idea whether or not they could actually pull it off and just because they went away so fast. You mean panic reservations? Yeah, panic yeah, reservations. Gotcha, panic yeah. reservations. Yeah. Um, I, I do think that as that final payment date comes due, you are going to see some spots free up. Yeah. Um, what I think about is as they, you know, because it started selling out from the last date going to the most recent date. Yeah, this is a yep. good point. I'm trying to think to myself, some of these people were faced with a choice of, you have to go on Galactic Star Cruiser like in three days or you don't go. Yeah. That was the boat we were in for a minute. And before we said yes, and then we weren't able to get it booked. Yeah, because I was like, if we can't get the dates that I've requested, I'll take whatever. And if it means tomorrow, then I guess it means tomorrow. I was going to come home early from my Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. (laughs) Out in uh, Venice, Florida and come home and do it early. But yeah, that's that's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Another thing is I wouldn't, or I I should tell people not to overlook is the sweet mate finder. That if you're that, I don't want to say desperate in like a bad sense, but I've put put out my. Info I saw there. that, yeah, yeah. So like, I'm even like, hey, if there's anyone here looking for two to fill a cabin, hit me and Taylor up. We'll definitely pay all up front. We'll get it done and we'll be there. So I don't want to say desperate in like a bad sense of the word, but that's the point we're at. Yeah, too, no, like. I have to say that I I think we we did a whole episode on Star Cruiser Sweet Bait Finder. Yeah, uh, the the success stories we've heard from that hundred percent, like 100%. across the board. Yeah, and, and it's not just people finding a place, you know, some people to, to to bunk with and lower the cost. We're talking about friendships that lasted beyond. They're they're going to outlast the hell scene itself. Yes, they <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I don't know we, if you we, saw. We were, um. I forget their name. I'm not going to say their name. So I don't know if you saw the spam people on a recent voyage. Have you seen pictures of them? Uh, I did see pictures. Yes. I've contacted them about possibly booking with them. What the hell are you talking so about? They their <laughs> characters were this like old Letterman spam, bit or something like yeah. spam <laughs> shippers or like smugglers or something. I, I didn't. Yeah, and they had like full on like spam costumes where they were selling. How spam. high am I? Are you talking about spam? <laughs> no, like and it was great. It was great. So I have reached out to them and that might be a possibility and I, I even let them know like hey i'm a local if you would like me to leave and sleep in my own bed i am more than willing to do that whatever makes you more comfortable so yeah that's how much i'm like i never even considered that we live two miles away I, from I, it i heard len talk about it on one of his really shows. len has done it yeah where he didn't stay the night no he way left. yeah 
So we like, had several people on uh, the May the Third voyage. They also would go, and then they 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 were staying wow. on the property. Remember how oh, I yeah, told they, you I was dumb? I told you. <laughs> Interesting. I told you. <laughs> yeah. So if you get in that tight of a bind, be like, hey, I'm a local. I'll go home. If they should have a local price where you just show up and then you and then you so, go home well, for the night. If they were smart and actually tried, they could have done that. Calm down over there. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave up. Do you guys yeah, have but, a Do you guys have a favorite moment from the Halcyon personally for yourselves? Because I'll I'll give you a second yeah. to talk, and mine is just recently on the voyage we took because we we took a voy- the two voyages after you guys just recently. Uh, you went on the May May the fourth one. We were on May seven eight nine. That's so funny. I just realized I've missed you guys by two voyages both times. That oh, I that's went. funny. That is funny. <laughs> so, um, I. I I go back and forth between Saja Fenn interaction I had and then Captain Keevan, but we were talking about Keevan earlier, so I'm going to talk about her. I was I went I went in like balls deep into my character because I'm a in real life and I play this bit a little bit on the podcast, but uh, keep your mouth shut back there. A little bit. <laughs> I, I played it off as like a conspiracy theorist, kind of just like you know Leia Organa is not telling us the truth. The resistance is going to fail like the rebellion did, and my my. Uh, like angle was to get in with Keevan because she, you know, reading Pin- Princess and the Scoundrel and in the you know the comics she's she's got history with with Leia, so I want to f- get intel about Leia so I can talk to her talk to her about like maybe switching to m- my more Saw Gerrera like tactics with uh, thing thing I'm calling the cause, but I'm literally saying like, telling the honest to god truth and these two will tell it to you. Captain Keevan changed my mind when she reminded me that the New Republic ousted Leia. Mm-hmm. From you know when she was a senator, I'm like when, when they found out. I think it was in Bloodlines, right? Bloodline, yeah. Yeah, um, and when when they found out that she was related to Vader, and I'm like, damn, they did her dirty. And like, I'm with you. Like she got me. And now she he, needs he all the help changed, she can and get. And now she needs like, all the help she can get. Yeah, that is that is my favorite moment. And giving the this the same little bottle of coaxium that I have here, I gave this to Keevan to give to Chewbacca for me because based on my my backstory. Um, she she changed my mind. That'll forever be my favorite Halcyon moment. Man, what about you guys? Well, my mine is uh, something we've told on our podcast. So if we share some listeners, you're going to hear this fine story one more time. But at the very end of our first voyage, uh, Martin Martin's a person you've seen his card back. So Martin likes to take things to 110 percent. Hold so another <laughs> level. <laughs> so so we're standing in the in the bridge after the fireworks display. And I see through the window that that uh, Martin's talking with Wraith, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm about to get a Martin moment. It's a patented moment, but and I'll stand back. So Martin walks in with with the actor who was playing a, a friend of Wraith, and <laughs> when Wraith walks in, Martin starts playing the the end march of Star Wars, uh, New Hope, and starts playing the sound. And Wraith is walking towards us. He hears Martin press the button on the 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 phone so he can play. The, and and Wraith, without breaking a beat, goes, oh, we we have a soundtrack, <clears throat> and. <laughs> And what happened is uh, Martin had bought uh, metal, the Yavin medals, the, the oh. ceremony medals, <laughs> and he had Wraith. Next to SK, ironically. <laughs> present the, yeah, he presented these medals to us, and Wraith was like, you've been very instrumental to the cause, and just, and, and of course, Christina and I were just balls of jelly, just crying like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. And that, that, that was... By far and away, the best experience I had on the Halcyon. And, and the label that I put on the medals box, do you remember what it said? Yeah, I actually did. Uh, the label that he had was Heroes of the Halcyon. That's and so, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, two months later when we were thinking of the name of the podcast, I was like, wait, Martin, you already thought of the name of the podcast. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What, what awesome. about Christine? Uh, my favorite moment is going to be from our second voyage, um, being selected as Wraith's right-hand person um and once we got through the highest i was able to hold the high Anaya stone for a minute Hell which yeah. was insane because you again you know it's not real and yet you get handed the stone and you put it in your pocket and i wouldn't let it go because i was like i can't lose this <laughs> um, i almost want to know if someone has like dropped it out of their pocket or something like what happens like uh no but we do know of a story of somebody who took off with it oh no um oh yes um but once once we got back to uh the cargo and the cargo hold and uh with gaia and the whole crew and whatever else 
uh, Rafe ended up having me give the stone to Gaia. And oh, that's cool. Dressed, dressed as a Twi'lek, just changing colors because crying like crazy. <laughs> And to be able to to be in character and to be able to hand that to her, and I I actually said to her, take it home, and and it at that at that moment, and that's the thing that we've all talked about that you can't express, you can't explain it to anybody. At that moment, I was from Ryloth, I was a Twi'lek, and I was giving her a stone that was critical to our race and to our planet. And and it was uh, it, it was monumental. It's something I will never forget. It never, and that's why it's tattooed. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I love yeah. that that tattoo. That it's your character. That's so cool. Yeah. Unique. I haven't seen that yet. That's so awesome. Um, for for me, it's I, there's so many. There's so unbelievable. But mine doesn't actually include one of the main characters. Mine includes one of the crew. Um, oh. It's amazing. I mean, the fact that this stands out above all else just says how how incredible this this crew is. Is before our second voyage, we all did YouTube videos as like in universe character introduction videos for my character. You know, Holovid director Jorg Sakul, You know, Captain Malif Hassan, and Zoran Vox. And I, I the Holovid director Jorg Sakul video was probably the most wildly overproduced Star Cruiser fan video. <laughs> ever made in the history of ever i i love it it's so over the top and it's yours uh, I, I, yep. I i love yep. it and uh I, I just love this character that i've created for this and one of the crew members bell latched on to this idea and she became like jorg sakul's biggest fan uh and, and what they did is it, they the whole trip they were like latching on to like the 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 flop movie that that jorg sakul made you know paulie the porg you know, instead of Howard the Duck, you know. <laughs> I didn't catch the reference. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you know, jorks, jorks are cool. Made Polly the Porg, and it was a horrible flop. And she's like, "I'm the one, Polly the Porg fan." And they were just so sincere about it. And one, one time, I'm sitting in the atrium, just kind of scrolling through my data pad, just going through all my missions, and I can hear these crew members behind me arguing over who's the bigger Jorks are cool fan. <laughs> <laughs> And, and one of them stops and just like points at the other and says, you are a fake Jorg Sakul fan. And it's just the most fun in like winking and nodding at the fandom at star Wars as a whole. You know, I, I, I adore George Lucas and that's why this, this character means so much to me. This is, this is my ability to create a love letter to star Wars, to George Lucas, to, to everything this means to me and has been to me since I was five. Um, and it doesn't hurt that you, you know, you look an awful lot like it. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, I was going to say. You know. <laughs> that actually says something about Star Cruiser, though, that you, know, you can have lightsabers. You can have laser gun, You can have all this incredible sets and effects. And it's just some crew member who thinks of some really fun, honest, real interaction that, that, that stands out to me above all else. Yep. So, yeah. Bell. Yeah. Thank you so much. That human interaction is like the biggest part of the show. Mm -hmm. And it's Connecting something you don't think about being that important until you look back on your time there. Like I always say, like I forgot almost that like Ray and Kylo show up on the ship at the end of the, you know, night two. Cause like, you're just so invested with everything else going on. And then they show up and you're like, Oh yeah. yeah oh, the, the lightsaber. Oh yeah. A I forgot real about that. Yeah. Like it's just, it's <laughs> such a cool, I, I, I love, I, I'm, I'm yeah. going to genuinely miss it so much. And I'm one of the biggest Kylo Ren fans on the planet, but the second finale, the first finale, my eyes weren't hit the whole time, but the second one, I didn't even like look at him. I was watching Wraith and I was watching Link. I was seeing what all the other characters were doing in the. Finale. He was watching was, me knock over the stormtrooper yeah, helmet. Yeah, that too. Sammy <laughs> revealed that spoilers that he was disguised as a stormtrooper. So that's one of my and favorite then moments. Link handed Tom or handed <laughs> no, 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 Myers. no, no. She 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 put the stormtrooper helmet down next to me. He was sitting on because I was sitting on the bench. I was I was told by one of the passenger services not to get up because of the the viewpoint and what was happening. Like Sammy and. Chewie and Lanko are right to the right of us. We were in uh, a crush. Yep. And I go to like put my elbow on top of the rest of it to try to be badass, but I just knock it over anyway, like a dumb ginger I am. So it <laughs> knocks off and it topples over. 
and then I just I just look look, look away and just kind of like just like you play know act off. like play it off like like nothing happened. So and Lincoln Mock, you Linka's almost, almost broke Lincoln Mock. She was, uh, yeah, she was I did back. almost break Lincoln. At first, she was like, "What the? What just happened?" And then she started laughing. She's like, "I don't care. It was great, man." Evan, what, what if you could boil your experiences down? What is your all time favorite moment on the house? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's hard, but I think the fact that the last voyage it was all three of us and Taylor together. Those voyages or those voyages, those moments might outweigh the initial voyage for me because it was just us three brothers together. I think it was the just everything we did with Wraith because Wraith became our fourth brother. Like this dude, and this I was a new friend of Wraith ish, and I was like, I don't know how much I'm gonna like you compared to the last friend of Wraith I've seen, but doesn't matter. Like you guys say it all the time, Wraith is Wraith. It doesn't matter. So I think. Just the Heinenaya heist with him on our cruise all together was great because we were standing in the middle of the atrium, basically, and he had kind of pulled it off. And then you two had led Captain Keevan into the sublight lounge. We did. To talk I got to, to hold the coaxium. Yeah, bag. you had the coaxium and everything. So you <laughs> led her away, and me and Taylor were standing there in the atrium watching Wraith do his thing. And then we just turn around and we hear Captain Keevan go, Wraith Cole. And like from that point on, Wraith included all all four of us, and only us, really, in mm-hmm. the conversation and convincing of Captain Keevan of, like, he's fine. He's on the up and up. Like That's He awesome. was like, she was like, what are you doing back there, Wraith? And I was like, well, he's getting me some of those snacks. And she's like, well, that's awfully kind of you, but they're free for everybody. And I'm like, well, I was going to, I said pay him at first. I had a bunch of credits from Doc Ondar's, like the metal ones. And I was like, I was going to pay him for those snacks. And she goes, Oh, so Wraith, now you're charging our passengers for a free service on board the ship. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 I'm going to tip him. And she's like, that's awfully kind, but he doesn't need or deserve tips. And we just kept going from there. And uh, earlier when she broke into our like planning of the heist, um, Wraith played it off. Like, oh, we're, we're learning a new game of this, Sabacc. This is my favorite moment, yeah, I think. So we'll tie it in then. So, yeah, so no, Brad, go ahead. This, the moment he's going to talk about now is my favorite moment outside of seeing the Holocron for the yeah. first time. Oh, we haven't talked um, about that even. But yeah. that's, that, that, I mean, that, like, I was, at, we, like, I, we, make, we make fun jokingly of Evan crying all the time. I was a mess both times I saw it. Yeah. Um, but this moment he's going to bring up is, is probably my favorite because it, it does involve all of us. Yes. So she's like, what's going on? You were in there too. For yeah, Sabaka, Taylor. Right? Yeah, all of us. Yeah. yeah, yeah I thought so. Planning okay. of yeah. the heist. So she's like, what's going on? You got two different decks of Sabak. What is this? And he's like, oh, it's a new game I'm making to teach these younglings. And she's like, oh, you're teaching younglings how to gamble. And he's like, no, 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 there's no gambling involved. And he's like, the name of this game is, and he like snaps his fingers. And Brad, Brad goes, it's called Sabaco. So then being a, being a Disney nerd that I am, that sounds like Sivaco from Flight of Passage. So I was like, yeah, yeah, rise to the challenge. <laughs> so, wow. Wow. So, great. so no, no one got the joke, of course. So we kind of moved on. No, because Evan's the only one who's seen Avatar. So. <laughs> Somehow, even though it made billions. But, so then later in the atrium, we kind of like when we were convincing Keevan, it came up again, Sabako. And then wait, wait, much, much later, hours later, we're in the bridge mission with the mission. With Wraith. Yeah. And at the end of the mission with Wraith, Keevan comes back in and she's just talking about somehow she brought back up. She brought up Sabako. She's like, now you're playing Sabako on the bridge. Like she remembered that stupid name that Brad made up mm-hmm. and like ran with it and just awesome. used it. So I think that was definitely it. We connected with him so hard, and yeah, Man. the picture that we all have with him is like one of my favorite pictures because we all became like four brothers. My favorite picture is us with the Saja, and it's only because I'm the only one in the photo doing the pose wrong. Yes, yeah, that's true. That's a good picture too. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Man. You know, uh, we've been on the thing th- three times now, and I still can't get the Ryloth slide. <laughs> <laughs> I can't dance either. It's okay. Yeah, I go bully Maguire. That's the trick. Yep, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, full full bully Maguire, and just you know, you got to go all black next time you're there you're during the yes, dance. So, I, I, which I already do because I'm first order. So you know, what well, well, the first order is the worst order. Oh, so yeah, there we go. Again. <laughs> if you think about it, every single one of our favorite moments. Wasn't the amazing sets? Yep. No. Yeah. Wasn't the food? Wasn't the amazing drinks? And th- this is the part of Star Cruiser that that is really going to be hard to convey to people, especially two, three, four, five, ten years down the line. Is every single moment we described? People that watch uh, a YouTube video of, of Galactic Star Cruiser five years from now, 
these moments are not conveyed in that video. No, no, nope. they can't be. Nope, they can't. Be. And, and and truly, that that's why I really think that this is going to live on in, in in people's ima- imagination, and it's just going to get better and better because we're not going to stop talking about it. You're not going to stop talking about it. Never. Nope. But but in five years, someone that never got to go on, how how do they understand what it was? Yeah. Let me tell you, tale, young man, about the house <laughs> shit. Yep. <laughs> and like you, you guys always say it too. Like the shoulder tap moments all led up to those moments that we had. Basically, it was just Wraith would say, "Hey, come over here. I yeah. have something for you." He or, came to our table night one at dinner yeah. and invited us. Four oh three. Four oh three on the dot. <laughs> right in. Pass it, right into next to the cargo. You're four oh three. Y'all got any spice? I swear to God, he asked me for spice. <laughs> I think he did. I think he did. But he's like, it's not on your data pad. It's like, yeah, shoulder tap moment though. What right? time? Yeah. It's but. back in the Anakin and Padway love suite. That there we're you staying go. In. <laughs> but, <laughs> and uh, that's that's something that I hope that we can keep keep alive. And like we talked about the community and keeping the community alive, but I, I don't think that's going to be hard. I am positive that that's going to keep keep alive, stay alive forever. Because like the May the 4th meetup that you guys had on the ship and before at Stargazers and then like all the Facebook groups and just everyone reaching out to each other, trying to book at the last minute and everyone helping each other. This community is not going to die anytime soon. I, and I can't recommend enough to your to your listeners that you mentioned the Facebook groups. Yes, the the, the primary groups uh, Galactic Star Cruiser tips and tricks, I believe, yep. uh, uh, and from Dano, uh, yeah. from Dano and Sarah. It, it's spectacular. It's a very welcoming community. We often say that we, we consider Star Cruiser to be the most non toxic uh, Star mm-hmm. Wars community. So yeah, even if you're curious, it's you want true. people to tell you about it, yeah, just have them come to that Facebook group and, and throw up a post, and people would love to talk their ear off. The, yeah. There you, you know, go. The subsection always- of people who are positive about Star Wars reside in the Halcyon community. Yeah. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, there's on Facebook. There's costuming groups. There's lightsaber groups. There's, I mean, there's anything you can think of. It just type in Star Cruiser and see what pops up. The the yep. post voyage drop site. Yeah. That Jen I'm on t- that one. That's an amazing site. Yeah. And <sighs> like I said, it, the most I can probably do is make a Facebook group. But I'm gonna try to at least do that. And maybe someone smart like Dano can pick it up or something, so we can keep having meetups and keep uh, this whole community alive and maybe it can turn into something where there's like actual well, LARPing involved or maybe it's just meetups either way it'll be well, awesome. This this is how we keep it alive by yes. ju- you know meeting with you know talking to Heroes of the Halcyon and Jedi Talk and I don't want this to be the last time that we connect obviously let's let's connect maybe closer to your guys fourth voyage there you know if you, you're going to be on planet we're local we'd be more than happy to come by and say hi. That would be awesome. Um, um, when you guys are, are out and around here definitely. Yeah we can let make us it work. know on your yeah. Batu day we can yeah. make it work. Absolutely. Uh, we'll definitely figure that out that's Okay, that's for sure going to happen. Yeah, for sure. I'm putting in the day off tomorrow when I get to work. There you yeah. go. Uh-huh. Well, we we can't announce specifics quite yet, but we are looking to put together another event. Beautiful. Okay, uh, there you go. Week. Nice. Okay. So again, we'll watch watch for announcements, but that that should be coming shortly. Wonderful. That sounds fantastic. That's what we love to hear. Any any last words from you guys as we as we wrap it up today? Thank you so much for your time. This has been awesome. Oh, well, thank, thank you, you guys for having yeah. us. Yeah, this is great. I, I've enjoyed. Uh, I, I will confess to having uh, uh, a couple of your bootleg episodes that we can't talk about. <laughs> that I've enjoyed. Uh, so those are fun to listen to. So it's great to talk to you actually in person. So. Former. <laughs> Former. Former. <laughs> We put Your the, place is bugged now too, so you have to say former. We put the former in performer. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm really curious about is why do you keep talking into your lamp when you say former? I don't understand. <laughs> right, yeah, we have yeah, to former. Look. I yes. gotta talk into my phone. <laughs> this here, we we here. Here's here's my picture from Sage that he signed the night of. They gotta say former. This is where they bugged it. <laughs> yes, former. They bugged the, hey, they bugged the ink. On hey, the photo. hey, Joshy D and Bobby I. I know you're listening. Former. Yep. <laughs> so, um, well, thank you guys. Follow you guys, Heroes of the Halcyon on Instagram. Is that it? All one word. Yeah, that's the best place to find us. Yep. Right. Heroes okay. of the Halcyon. Best place to find them. You, you're following us at Jedi Talk Podcast. Follow Heroes of the Halcyon. You guys have been great. We've been Jedi Talk. Brad, take us home. Thank you guys for listening, and thank you to you guys for joining us on the show. We really appreciate it. We will see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe. May the Force be with you. Always, and this is fitting, but Tabuite. Rise, Jedi Knight. <laughs>